Alright, so I got another YouTube video of the progress going on for this GTI. This is an ongoing project. Um, as you can see, I gotta try to get some light, better lighting in it. I um, chose to do this at night just so you can see the cool um, the lighting that's set up for it. It's, it's great um, LED ambient lighting coming from a false floor setup with a, a single 12 inch uh, Alpine woofer. It's an Alpine Type S and um, it's got some cool carbon fiber um, accent going on. Um, I plan on changing it because I didn't really like the the, um, the black carbon fiber look. Um, and the trim panel that goes around that little black trim panel, I plan on making that red as well. So I, I'll probably do the hybrid carbon fiber with the red trim. And um, there's going to eventually be over in the back left hand corner the amplifier probably floating or something and in the right hand corner um either a nitro setup just for purge purposes to show off or maybe even the um the meth kit that i end up uh, planning to put in um this car will eventually be set up for uh for track it's gonna have a roll cage and um it'll be set up on e85 with the uh, uh, methanol but um I made this video just to show like the progress of what's going on with this GTI and it's got a lot going going on so far. Um, right now it's just got a uh, tune with a new speed module um, intake made by InGen and uh, or I'm sorry uh, by AEM. This car was actually prototyped for, um, for AEM's new um, intake that I think already got released but um it also got a, a new gauge just this week that I haven't been able to install completely, but it's set up already. Um, it's got a ECS with a ECS gauge pod. Um, under the hood, let's see if I can get the under hood already. And this is just so far. Um, the wheels right now are, are Miro's or Miro or whatnot. Set up on um, DG uh, springs for time being. It's got a uh, Ed's aftermarket uh, dual LED uh, halos, I guess, with the uh, projector lenses and HID converted uh, headlamps. Um, and that's uh, AEM's prototype uh, intake. So far, they're not carb legal, but. Uh, this car is kind of more for going to be going towards track purposes anyways, so I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I've got the the new um, Forge Bluff valve or bypass valve that's going in hopefully this week. As soon as this uh, the uh, boost tap comes in, which I'm waiting for from uh, EC ECS tuning, so I can't wait for that. And... Um, the future for this year should be doing um, some coilovers, which I've been been looking at. Um, maybe in the next month or so, I should be ordering the, the coilovers for it. And also a downpipe to go to stage two. And uh, eventually a, uh, a larger or a more aggressive tune instead of just doing the new speed module. Um, that's pretty much it for this so far. Everything else is pretty much just cosmetic with a you know a couple other little things like the the euro stripes or whatnot, but we still got a long ways to go with that and then I've also have this um viper that that um is a whole new project in itself, waiting for headlights to come back with fog lights um I should be posting something on this coming soon um it's got full interior, which is all carbon fiber and red and it's got a stereo system that's going in it with the uh, all pioneer and alpine speakers and amps and etc cetera, etc cetera. but there's a lot going on with these two two projects and um hopefully i'll be able to post up some some uh new videos of what's going on just stay tuned um there'll be a lot more as i uh progressively put up more videos and uh hopefully get these two projects um closer to something more amazing
But uh, stay tuned.